Welcome to another Dixon how to video. My name's Matt and I will be showing you how to connect to your data logger. First thing you need to do is to open up Dixonware. Double click on that. I'm using the secure version so I have my username and my password. Um, so to set up your logger you click setup. Uh, you, I'm using a USB port to connect to my logger. Click continue. Um, and it pulls information about the logger. Um, it tells you how full it is, what it's doing. Um, you can see ours is full. Um, and it is just continuously wrapping around and replacing the original data. Um, on other uh, models, you'll notice that uh, you can set alarms. On this model, you can't. Uh, just f This one's strictly for recording. Um, but you can enable them. Um, and you can enable the visual or the buzzer. Um, you can change the units from Fahrenheit to Celsius. You can change what it's rotating, what it's showing you. Um, clicking this button right here allows you to update this information on the unit. So if I change something, you have to click set temp unit and rotation. On this unit, you can clear the data. Um, I'm not going to, so I can have more examples to work with uh, for later examples, but you just click OK. Um, and you need to be aware that it is really clearing everything off and it is not recoverable unless you have it backed up to an SD card. This model does not offer that, but many of our models do. I'm going to click Cancel. Um, and that's pretty much it. You can print off almost anything. You can refresh anything uh, so that the most pertinent information comes up. To exit from this unit setup page, you just click exit, and it takes you back to the main screen where you can download the data, um, look at flashcard data, you can clear, you can take real-time readings, um, and a whole bunch of other features from the main screen of the Dictionware page, but all of those are covered in other movies. Thanks for watching another Dixon how-to video.